I pretty much start my mornings by getting up and pouring a glass of coffee and uh, you know, a lot of sugar. I do that twice. Then in the afternoon, I have some Dr. Pepper and you know, 44 ounces of that probably not doing me too much good every day. The hardest part of making a change is admitting that you need to make a change. And Eric says that running isn't easy and that the first steps are scary. And the first steps to being able to make positive change are scary steps. Making a commitment like this is scary. The best is the enemy of the good. And I think that's true, but I think that people take the wrong side of it. I think that we should be the best we can and not accept being just good. I've got a lot of other things in my life that have worked out really, really well for me. I've been very blessed. And I would like this to be an opportunity to kind of push me towards being in the best physical shape I can be in again. You know, I eat pretty good most of the time, but there's a lot of sugar that I could cut out pretty easily. And exercising, running, in particular, running is a, be a great way for me to be able to burn off the calories and, and uh, to be able to get back in the shape that I want to be in. The first time I was in the run around, it's about a year ago, maybe, I had a friend of mine who was going to run a marathon up in Springfield and he wanted somebody to come in and run with him. And I had another couple of friends who were doing some get fit things. And so I kind of got sucked into that, but it didn't really work. I got myself a nifty new pair of shoes, but that's about as far as it went. I ran, you know, a dozen times and gotten to feel a little better, but never really worked. So whenever I heard about the running around doing a uh, RUN challenge, I thought that would be a cool opportunity to be able to get back into it, to be able to improve my health some, to be able to drop some weight. I'm not. Uh, overweight by any significant standard, but I could lose 20 or 30 pounds without hurting anything. My name is Alan Malo, and I appreciate your vote. Thanks.